Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. This is the Mad Salvi talking to you right now about the actual queue that exists within Nidhi Sanju, or at least the queue that has existed in the past. We know that something is going on and something is going to happen, but this queue is very interesting to look at. I try to bring in the news in the best way that I can, as objective as I can, and as soothing as possible, because the news can be very stressful. So let's take a look first at Nidhi Sanji's little secret, or less known secret. All this. Let's just take a quick look at everything that we're seeing here. This person went through the effort of putting all of the graduations that have happened from Nidhi Sanji. It's a humongous queue, as you can see. It's a big queue, as you can see. And it is something that I'm like, holy crap. Um, November 10th, Mio Otavia. November 30th. And this is all last year or so. This is in the last 365 days. Ax Axia Krone. On, on November 30th, December 14th, Yugo Asuma, way back like in 2022, 2023, I believe. Um, this, uh, which is, yeah, I think it was 2022, 2023. But we've had March 10th of Zion on the 23, 2023. Uh, April 10th is Zaya, Taka, Siska, Amika. May 17th is Asahina. June 19th is Gundo Mirei. June 26th is, uh, is Nina. Nina Kosaka. June 30th, Azura, Nara, Reza, Hyona, and I believe that's Niji Sanji ID. Um, July 23rd is Mista. October 20th is Mika, Zia, and Rixa, who are also left. November 14th is Aiba. December 12th is Chihiro Momo. January 5th is Pomo. February 1st is Kyo. February 5th is Selen. March, we don't know. Graduation termination dates. 27th of November, 2022, Mio. 30th of November, 2022, Krone, as we saw. 14th of December, 2022 is Yugo. March 2023 of 10th, 10th of 2023 is Zion. March 4th, May 14th is Zaya. May 2023 is uh, Asahina, 20th of May is Taka, 15th of June is Siska from ID, 21st of June is Gundo from JP, 8th of July is Nina from EN, 16th of July is Amicia ID, 20th of August is also ID from Azura, 27th of August is Mista from EN, 3rd of September is Nara from ID, 30th of September is Reza from ID, all these people, every single one of these people, October, Hyona, November, Zia, Zia uh, December, Mika, December again, Alba, Aiba, January, Rixa, 31st of January of this year, Chihiro and Momo of JP, 20th of January, Pomu, 5th of February, Selen, 17th of February, Kyo. And what this person wants to say, if I did miss anything, if I didn't miss anything ever since March, April has been one month in which there has been no graduation or termination. Since May, there's been one month, one or more every month. This is a black company, the way I see it. There's been one or more every single month month so this is bad there were no graduation announcements in august or september but that's because there were mass graduation announced in july leading all the way up to october every other month since march has had an announcement some of the graduations and terminations were sudden it's so likely unplanned but i will imagine that they will affect the other graduations they're planning going forward planned graduations seem to usually come half a month to three months in advance the longer time periods happening in the mass graduations of id that were spread out over many months we've entered march so now at in the last graduation and announced on February 1st, which is the last termination on February 5th, we might be due for another announcement soon, especially considering we have no pending graduations. So just knowing the way Nidhi Sanji is, there may be a ton of pending graduations on the way. And the rats have also said, again, tinfoil hat time, you can take it, it's, it's, a, it's a rumor. So the rats have said that there's a queue already for graduations that have not been announced. There is a bit of stuff that's happening in the sidelines, people are waiting three months, two months, a year, whatever, to finally get graduated. And there is, there are going to be so many more. Uh, like they said, <clears throat> it's possible that Niji Sanji waits a bit longer to let things cool off, but the pressure of the queue might be too much to let them wait for too long. There's also the possibility that there are already agreed upon graduations they're obligated to go through with. I suspect it might have been the case with Kyo, since it, at the time it was announced that the land problem was already at its peak. But likely they agreed with Kyo on the date, weeks if not months in advance, most likely. Don't forget also that Nidisanji ID and KR members still exist. So next graduation could also come from them. Might be prudent, uh, might be a prudent way to alleviate the queue problem without being, bringing as much heat to the EN sector. It's going to bring heat anyways. So they're screwed anyways. S edit. Some additional metrics. Longest time between graduation announcements since April, April is 37 days. So they had a graduation announcement every 37 days on average. Or 89 days if you count the gap between July mass announcement. Longest time between graduation since May is 35 days. Currently, it's been 24 days since the land termination. We're still within the established records 
for both announcements and actual graduations. If you go until March 14th without an announcement, we'll be breaking the current trend record. Let's see how this goes. Edit 2. It was pointed to my attention that caught on a virtual reel is also graduated within this year. I'm not sure, however, if she counts since the virtual reel is not a part of Niji Sanji and is even separate company from any color, I think. Yeah, they have virtual reels kind of something separate, so it may not count. May 9th, Karen announcement, which he put there. Didn't find the official source, probably because China. 17th of July, 2023, caught an actual graduation. Edit 3. Added Corona, but I'm not sure it's as much of a point looking into the deep into 2022 graduations, since there was a pretty big gap between December and May. So, um, and add Media Otavia as well. So this looks bad. Let's see what people say. When they started compiling this list, uh, I thought I'd find a couple graduations every few months, like a lot of companies do, basically. They do it every couple of months, maybe. Um, also, another thing to note here is that the graduation queue is still really that long. Then any potential Niji member that decided to graduate after after Selena debacle will likely be at the very end of the queue and will have to wait months before their turn. We might not see the fallout of the situation for a while. Even if we see Niji EN graduation soon, they might be people who are already planning to graduate, which is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking just because of the way things work, the way things are, the graduations are going to happen soon, but because of the queue, since we know that there's most likely a queue, it's going to take a while. That's my thoughts on this at least. They made an announcement today. Project K-A-V-V-A-I-I. -I. Um, this is very misleading because there's also a production Kawaii, which is a much bigger organization and a much larger group that uh, does also VTuber stuff. Uh, this is one of those things that um, you can get in big trouble for, not necessarily in the sense of the copyright, um, but if you're too similar, sometimes you get issues with um, trademark infringement or trademark I don't know what they call it, harassment or whatever, but they call it trademark infringement, which basically you make things too similar to each other, and then you have that issue. So let's read what they said. Project K-A-V-V-A-I-I, -I, I'll just call it that right now, or Kawaii as it's supposed to look like. Announcement of Misa Mikazuki Mai and Airi Guinevere's graduation. We hereby announce that our Loon Tai generation, Mikazuki Mai, and ID Guinevere will be graduating on March 31st, 2024. So it's going to be further down the line. And for this one specifically, they're saying, we have decided to cease the talent development activities for the foreseeable future. After Maya and Gwyn's graduation, Project Kawaii, or K-A-V-V-A-I-I, -I, will continue to release new episodes of Loon Time Bewitched until the end of the season. On April 1st, 2024, both Maya and Gwyn will cease all streaming activities and their YouTube channel memberships and Streamlabs pages will be closed. Selected content on their YouTube channels as well as the social accounts will remain public for the continued enjoyment of their fans. We will ex we would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans who have supported us um, and Project Kawaii in this case, or Project Kawaii, whatever, uh, throughout the years and deeply apologize for any sudden announcement. We are proud of what Maya and Gwyn have accomplished in two years and it's been wonderful to see them grow, build tight-knit communities and meet new friends from around the world. Thank you everyone who has supported my win and project K A W V A I I or Kawaii as they want to call it since 2022. We look forward to your continued support for the next month. Please stay tuned for updates on new streams, which will be announced. Soon. So problem I have with this is something that I mentioned myself and something that I'm going to just go over real quick is I don't think it doesn't seem like at least this is something that they're doing of their own volition. We won't know until everything's said and done. And then, you know, people tend to talk about it. People tend to rip, you know, rip the, the company's a new one and make things uh, more well known and more out there. Uh, like I said, it's kind of misleading the fact that they use K-A-W-V-A-I-I -I, uh, because there's, like I mentioned, Production Kawaii, which is a much bigger organization, a much larger group that uh, has not had graduations in a while as far as i know this is graduation season it seems like uh, at least they're not being terminated under bad circumstances like another company that will, shall not be named uh he who shall not be named or whatever you want to call it that company <clears throat> hates their talents it seems like and it doesn't want to it worries about um the uh the money the numbers before anything else and that's what happens when management isn't so great but I don't know the whole story. I will let you guys know more about this. But I feel that there will be more to be said about this whole situation. So this is about Oren Chan being in the hospital. A friend was allowed to, to post on Twitter, apparently. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Oren's friend. I have some unfortunate news. The period of Oren Chan's hospitalization is said to be in February, but it will be extended a little. Her mental state was worse than expected. She gets smiling even though she was struggling to solve everything on her own. However, as a result of this, she seems to have suffered from severe depression. Just reminding you, Oren Chan had a situation where there was an earthquake in Japan on the 1st of January, like the new year. 
I believe her house got damaged. They no longer were able to live in that house, if I'm not mistaken. I, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm not mistaken, they weren't able to live in that house anymore. Things were bad. And Oren Chan, uh, you know, of course, got depressed, which is normal for this type of stuff. Um, the period, uh, let's see. For now, I'll keep her hospital for a while longer, although it is not fundamental solution. I have decided that mental recovery is the top priority. Everyone's support has really reached her. I have also messaged from her. Everyone, I'm sorry for making you worry. It seems I'm not as strong as I thought. Now I'm either sleeping at the hospital or running. I don't have to think about anything when I'm sleeping or running, so I feel calm. I really want to think about the various problems I'm facing, but my friends and doctors are stopping me. Your warm messages, art, and donations have been received well. I thank you very much. I will use the donation carefully for my family, because like I said, she doesn't have a home as far as I know right now. Or at least the family home needs to be fixed. As a streamer who's in a position to entertain people, I feel very sorry for causing so much worry to everyone. After I'm hospitalized, I'll come back as, as a streamer to entertain everyone, so please don't forget me and wait for me. I don't know if it'll be a week or a month, but I will do my best to get back as soon as possible. That was the message from her. I'm also planning to talk to other friends to help solve her problems. Once again, I would like to ask everyone, please help her. Kind words, art, donations, and spreading the word all help to encourage her specifically. But don't overdo it. What she wants most, what she was most worried about, was that everyone would overdo it. She doesn't want you to get in a difficult situation yourself to help her. I'll let you know if anything happens again. Thank you for reading my long message. GX Aura, which is the G, you know, Opera GX person. Uh, please send on in all of our well wishes. We are, we really hope she recovers soon. Shori, Rin, everyone is just, Shoji is also saying hang in there. People are sending help. People are sending donations. People are sending well wishes. She deserves that. She's a sweet person. Uh, always has been sweet. Always has been trying to to uh, be kind to everyone, to be entertaining. We all do. Everyone who is a VTuber, everyone who is a YouTuber tries to be that way for everybody. Uh, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we fall short of what we want to do. Sometimes life gets in the way, like with, with Onan Chan. Life got in the way with them, where the earthquake made things way more difficult than they should have been because, you know, things get damaged in an earthquake. They're in Japan, but like Japan has a lot of protections, but still things will get damaged there. So of course, send, you, send her your love, send her your support, Send them, you know, anything you can. No, not, I mean, whatever you can. Support, art, any of that kind of stuff is more than welcome by anybody, especially her. And that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for always being here. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at everything here. And I hope you did enjoy it. This is once again the Mad Salvi. Comment down below if you so want to, you know, start making a conversation. I try to respond as possible, as much as possible, as best I can. And I will at least heart them if I see them. I appreciate you. Of course, I have my Discord and other things down below in the description, as I always do. And I have a video out here in front of you that you may also enjoy. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves, please. Hydrate and just give yourself lots of love. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.